Now let's take a live look at the U.S. Capitol, where in just a matter of hours, there is going to be a final vote on the debt ceiling deal. Just a step away from a potential historic default, the House passed a debt ceiling and budget cuts package late last night. The bill now heads to the Senate, where a vote could take place today. Our John Shemwhite joins us with more on the vote outcome and what comes next. John, good morning. Good morning, and with a big bipartisan vote, the House passed the bill to suspend the nation's debt limit through January of 2025. Now, more Democrats supported the bill than Republicans. That's not surprising, but there was one notable exception. Local Representative Summer Lee, she was the only no vote among Western Pennsylvania House members, saying that Republicans placed their political priorities over the poorest and most vulnerable. The bill, which will result for, or does result from a deal between White House and Republicans, caps some federal spending, takes back money from the IRS, tightens eligibility for food stamp programs, and loosens some environmental rules. Now, some conservative Republicans who oppose the bill are now questioning Speaker McCarthy's leadership and threatening to bring up a motion to kick him out. Speaker McCarthy wasn't too concerned about that threat and celebrated the victory last night. Is it everything I wanted? No. But sitting with one House, with a Democratic Senate, and a Democratic President who didn't want to meet with us, I think we did pretty dang good for the American public. We had an obligation, a responsibility, to avoid a catastrophic default. Now, President Biden took to Twitter thanking House leaders and urging the Senate to quickly pass this and get it to his desk. The bill in its current form faces opposition from some, from some Senate Republicans and at least one Democrat. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has warned members of his chamber to prepare for the potential of votes over the weekend. And as we have been reporting now for some time, the Treasury says this has to get to the president's desk and be signed by Monday in order to avoid a default. Yeah, and it's not a done deal until it's nope. a done deal. All right, thanks, John.